Hi guys, this is Juno and welcome back to another account review in Summoner's War. I think this is the official first account review I'm doing since I'm back from my trip. So I'm hoping good things from it. I'll try to be nice to it, <laughs> not too harsh to it. The account owner did tell me that he is fairly new to the game. He might have did a reset or he's actually new, but if you look at his profile he's only been playing for 114 days which is actually only a little over three months so i'm not gonna be too harsh with, regarding his towers and stuff but he did want a lot of suggestions and advice for rta siege defenses and also ad he is using my second turn team for ao but I guess it's just a rune quality issue because you've seen that he's only C1. Although that is a pretty good feat if he's actually only been playing for three months, three and a half months. That's actually pretty nice. I have a friend that's that has an account that's years old. He probably even played longer and he's still F3. <laughs> Hey guys, before we start the video, if you guys are interested in getting advice and help from me and other Summoners War players, feel free to join my Discord where the link is in the descriptions below. Also, if you enjoy my content and want to support me, become a Patreon where the link for it is also in the descriptions. I want to say I appreciate all the support and believe me, I really do. Anyways, that was it. Let's get back to the video. So the first thing I'm going to check is just his towers. It looks like he's currently still working on them. His guardstone is only level 10. He's overall powering up everything at the same time, it looks like. I do think that you should focus on a tower first. Probably start with the guard tower if you're having issues with TB12 with your trickery, and then go on to the fire. Well, sorry, and then go on to the crit damage. And then maybe even the attack plus the fire so that you could have your bail and your trick revert ready to go and then from there it's really up to you probably the speed and then the hp and then probably all the other elementals that you probably need if we look at his monster box it's not huge but you do see a xeros there does he have a tiana well actually for three and a half months old this is a lot of nat fives and it looks like he does have the trick room going, so you don't you might not even have to do your guard tower first, just go with the damage towers. He has Miles, Nana, Shizuka, Molong, Bastet, Poseidon, Wusa, Praha. He has a lot of good Nat Fives too. Bail, there you go. The Juno, the Perna, the Rika, Oliver, holy cow. Chung Pung. Yeah, he has the whole package. He has Tiana, he has Leo. Okay. He has every oh there you go the Artemil plus the Debra nice so definitely has the arena offenses to actually storm through C1 C2 well obviously it depends on room quality but he definitely has it let's take a look at his box again to see if he has anything good for a arena defense he does not have a carnal I'm looking at it now maybe you should just fall behind with the with the Artemil which brings in the 50% HP lead and then you could bring in the Darien maybe even the Leo going slow so that Leos can come in uh, Juno's actually pretty good as well or if you want some healer you could probably go with the Praha double nemesis will like you have right now just needs to be much tankier and faster well not much faster maybe 20 speed faster I think in your level to get C2 C3 I think 10 20 speed faster would be fine but definitely much much tankier if you can't do that just going with the nana to bring in the extra life might be a good idea as well sadly you don't have any other good universal hp lead so that is the way i would go let's take a look at the runes violent first i guess because we're already there speed 25 22 21 okay that's actually pretty good 21 okay so slot 3 is a little weak no really weak 18 16 weak slot 4 Oh, uh, weak slot 5. I mean, it's not particularly fast. It's going to be 25. Okay, so I'll say that's okay. 25 is pretty good. And then a 20. So slot 6 is a lot much worse. Let's take a look at Swift. It's 21, 19, 24, 20, 21, 
19, 21, and then 22. So looking at these swift runes and violent runes, definitely the way you have to go with your AOs and ADs is a tanky team. C1, C2, you might be able to get there with your with the fast team, with the fast defense, and with the fast AO. But anything higher than that, I think your rune quality is definitely lacking. So just to make it easier, I'll focus on creating teams uh, around slow teams or mediocre teams. Mediocre, when I say mediocre, I mean like average speed teams. I think Tiana on 180 is still an average speed team because you could still go into extremely tanky teams, knowing the fact that you even have Debra. Now let's take a look at Will. Yeah, 2016, 25, 20. 22 and then 18. Overall, I think all the runes are pretty much in the same level. If I had to choose which one is the best, it's probably Violent, then Swift, then Will. I do think Will is the weakest, but it looks like for all of your rune sets, the three that I checked, there, there are only a couple of fast slots and the other slots are a pretty big downgrade compared to the fast ones. I think I'll just continue farming your weakest slot or just go for a faster set. So GB12 is a good one. DB12 obviously is a good one. And MB12 is actually really, really good since you're going with the second turn team or with like a, a Tiana team where you will benefit a lot with will sets plus rage sets. And um, you do want a really hard hitting Peng Bei because like I said, you had the whole you had the whole package. I might just go with the MB12 route if you want to see some quick progression into the game or quick upgrade, rank upgrade into the game. Uh, let's go to his arena defense. I think right now he's running some kind of fast defense that has a 0% win rate. You really have to look at this one. F2, 30%. Doesn't look too bad, but that's F2. As soon as you go to C1, he has a 14%. Uh, we know that his speed isn't that great. So if you look at Clara, 181. I'd rather slap this to the Tiana probably and make your fast team. Um, yeah, you have to go swift everything, right? Ooh, okay. This cog is only going to move if you get the guaranteed pushback or the stuns from the Clara and Sav Savannah. Ooh, Chandra 100 res, pretty fast. Yeah, I wouldn't waste a set like this. And they're not even scaled up. So, in my opinion, well, you do have a universal HP lead, but I still do think going to Artemel lead plus a Darien is a good idea. And then uh, a Praha plus one. I guess going with another support is not an extremely good idea here because, well, actually, the defense has no damage right now. So, you do want more damage here. Maybe a good idea to go is probably something like the Purna. You do have a universal HP lead here that you could use the Carnal if you decide to use it, but I do think it has to be fully skilled up for it to be efficient. Uh, for now, probably like the Juno or even the Purna might be a better choice. I'll just run something like that. Are these all ruined? If they are, I'll just leave it up. Yeah, let's just leave it up like this. Now for a Oh, so you're using my second turn Leo team. Double will endure. Love it. This is like, that's a good Leo. That's a good Leo. 100 res. Okay, not that bad. Double fight will. You're going with the extremely, extremely aggressive Delphoi that I did before. Uh, I did change this up. I do think Violent is a better, better rune set since now her skill two is also an Oblivion. I would go with that route. I'll switch that out. Um, and then another fight set here, okay? <laughs> you're doing really well. Hoping you're getting extra accuracy somewhere. Ooh. Hmm. Not having that 85% accuracy is gonna hurt. So if you're seeing any failure with this offense, it's probably because of that. Let's look at the damage build on this bail. Not bad, not bad. But I would grind all of this and try to bring out as much damage as I can or as much tankiness as I can because more tankiness is always better in the second turn teams okay, overall not bad i'm pretty sure this works pretty well and then you're using this okay that's good okay these are the two aos i was going to recommend anyways so i'm very happy that you're running them 182 okay that's good that's good uh, you should definitely get the artifacts for that even just just flat white ones are fine and then your galleon should move swift i would go that route if you're if you can't if you can't get the runes to follow up with the speed 
Debra, nice. I'm actually surprised you made this Debra so super fast because a lot of people just ignore the Debra and just think that she could just be a sitting duck. But making her fast, making her go after the Galleon is actually really, really good since Galleon can miss the def defense break and then the Debra could come up with a second chance of defense break. So this is really good. I'm surprised that you did this. So that's awesome. And finally, your Pung back 81%. Crit rate, which is fine because you're going with the lead. I, I love what you're doing. I think that my videos really helped. And if they didn't, if you did this by yourself, good for you. I'm just trying to get some self, you know, self praise, uh, believing that you watched my videos and made these offenses. I think if you rush, well, you should definitely get something higher than a C1 because your offenses, just from that Deborah offense alone, should get a lot of wins. So let's see. Let's hit, hit some of these, like this one right here. It could be a tower issue, maybe your unit, your Pung Bag is not hitting hard enough or it could be a speed tuning issue and you're actually getting cut. Wow, that's a fast Wusa, but that's fine. Yeah, see the second second defense perk right here. And we could, we, I think you have to go for the aerial, right? 59k. So it does look like a rune issue since it's only hitting for 59k. I was expecting more around the 70k at the very least, but rune issue plus the tower is probably what's causing your uh, offense to not hit as hard as you want it to. But still, it should get you, well, maybe, maybe not C3, but C2 I think should be doable at the very least. I, I want to believe that you could even hit, hit these. Yeah, the Wusa might, might outspeed, but that's fine because most of the time it uses skill 3 and the Tiana should just strip that out. It didn't. We do have to kill the the Belio here. Uh, I do like a uh, Despair, Debra, if you can make it fast enough and in that speed. So you could get some lucky stuns. 60k there. Easy cleanup, right? Yeah, I think if you rush well, and if your defense at least gets you 10-20% defense rates in the C2 level, um, you should be able to hit a new rank. Mm, that's my thought. And if you go to RTA, he's only F3. Uh, he Okay, this is awesome. You only have 8, rune, eight units ruined up. This is good, but at the same time, I'm kind of worried that if they steal three of your units, you're stuck with the other five that you, have to, you just have to go with it. So maybe just add a couple more into this box, like two more. But I do think 10 is still what's needed. Um, eight, to, well, you got the bare minimum, so I'm pretty sure this is gonna work, but maybe a couple more now. Um, okay, everything, the one, two, 30 range. Awesome, I love how you're speed tuning. I, I Macho could be a little faster, that's fine. It should be on a violent Nemesis set though. Um, some people might disagree since it's, so, since it's so slow, but I still think Nemesis will be better. Okay, I actually, ooh, okay, a Despair will set. I don't know why you opted up for a will set. Maybe you didn't have a good Revenge set or a Nemesis set. I think those will be better. Good crit rate and good accuracy, good speed. A little low on the attack, but overall, I think definitely C1 level if you play well. Okay, I actually like your set, but here, Oliver build, I will change this to probably something else. Make sure you're powering up all of these all of these runes if you're using them in RTA. You could get additional stats right here that you're missing out, even grinds. So here, I'll probably add in the Molong if it's skilled up. Uh, it's, it's getting there, I'll probably add that. The Molong is an extremely good unit, and also the Nana. It's a lot of wind, I'm uh, sorry, a lot of water units, less fire, so let's look at the fire. Rika's are probably a good one. Not that hard to rune either. Um, probably that's the only one in this. Oh, I can't believe we don't have the Riley ruined up. Riley will be a good one, and also the Leo will be a good one. Artemis should be a good one as well. You should also have a triple band Furt here that um surprising that you don't have in there. Yeah, you should definitely have a triple band Furt there. Um, Nana ruined up, no. Sorry, Nana not scaled up. This, uh, probably the Riley. I'll definitely recommend the Riley. At the very least, these four should be added, in my opinion, uh, also with the Rika. Something like that. Good enough. Some of you guys might disagree. 
but I think this is the very least on what you need. Try to play around these units as well because it will complement your box. Especially the Riley, the Mo Long, the Leo plays a specific role in the game. Even without skill ups, it will be a good counter against opponents that bring out a lot of Beast Riders, a lot of units that care about speed or if they're just trying to take more and more speed because they're so fast uh, just don't just remember not to bring out the leo plus your own like speed units like the the miles right because miles scale off of speed or even the masha you're contradicting yourself and i wouldn't use the miles here just take it out I, i'd rather give it to the molong since your miles has no skill ups it's gonna just do a lot less than what you're expected that you'll do or maybe even the Wusa might be good here. That's all I have to say. You are in F3, but with the rune quality and with the speed tuning, with how, with your mindset on how you're selecting a certain pool of units, I do think you have the mentality to at least get C1. Uh, you've currently played only 21 games, so with a 60% win rate, so I'm pretty sure it should be uh, not too hard for you to get C1, which should be your best score overall. Let's take a look at Siege defense finally. And I do see a lot of issues here. Um, there are a couple that are working. So these two are working. So I wouldn't talk about that. You could currently use them. The rest, I'll take everything out and then focus on probably two more defenses. And that's it. Because your room quality doesn't really support seven defenses right now. I'm, I'm actually surprised two are getting wins. But then I did notice this is C3. So I think if you rune up really, really good defenses four defenses those should be getting you positive wins all over the place definitely what i'll do is keep this one because yes in higher siege there's a definite answer for the martina shina trianas almost every guild member has one offense that could just you know wing through these defenses however in lower siege lower guilds they don't have all of that. A lot of people still don't know how to play the game. They don't know how to build offenses. So this could be extremely obnoxious. Um, I do have certain things to say about it though. Um, this is not that bad, but I will make a tank here. So maybe switch out this, this rune right here. I'm not gonna talk about the speed too much because your violent runes, uh, will runes are definitely capped to a certain speed with the rune quality that it currently has. Um, but make it tankier. And then finally, this one, I would, if you're gonna go with the fatal set anyways, I'll just give it a super fast swift set. And then that could be a surprise for some people and it could get some wins. And finally, for you to actually get a good win rate, I think a higher chance of getting a win, you have to put your Triona on Will. I think that's like the bare minimum for this defense to work. Um, the other one that I would recommend, I don't think any of these are good. This one might be okay. I will take out the friend though, you know, change it out with something else. But another one that i think that you could add that you're not using right now is probably with the mo long we know that this one's not working too well anyway so i will take this out take this out and instead put in the tyrannus and perna which is a extremely common defense that you still see in g2 g3 as a secondary defense they're being they put them up all the time so you know that if they're ruined well they still could snatch up some wins and in lower guilds it's a no-brainer that still work really well if they are ruined correctly mo long 100 speed is not that bad you do you definitely need to scale the tyrannus up six star it that's a no-brainer right if you want to use it in defense and find the perna um overall it's, i think it's a little too squishy but um She's the proccing queen. Uh, there's two units that proc all the time here, Molong and um, Perna. Tyrannus a little lot less is not famous for that, but Molong and Perna are definitely famous for proccing. So I'll make this defense, um, but there is a lot of work to do. A lot of devil mods you have to put in here and a lot of devil mods you have to put in here, plus the six starring and rooting them up. Um, but I think that will be no issues once you take out this, de this defense, this defense, um, and maybe this defense could keep it, but I will switch out to Fran. Uh, right now, it doesn't look like it's doing too much. You could even keep this and replace the Fran with the Tyrannus, which gives an AoE defense buff that will help the aerial damage. And also, Tyrannus will act as a secondary damage dealer. Uh, but that is my recommendation. Um, that's about it. I 
wanted to make a video on this account because it was the first account review that I'm doing since I am back. I know a lot of it is redundant, but I do think it's good to keep talking about it because um, some of the players that come into the game today, they don't look for old videos, to be honest. And the meta changes so fast. For people that continuously watch me, it will be redundant information. But for anybody that's coming in new, it will be new information. So I think it is uh, good to emphasize the importance of all of these uh, for new players or beginning players. But that was it, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.